I don't normally do this, but this is a personal message. Horse chick, ride your horses and ride them well. And may you ride them straight to hell. And when you realize you'll go doubly down into the dust from whence you sprung, unhonored, unloved, and unsung. Yeah! Yeah. Hello everybody, Terrence Pop here with another episode of Redonculus.com. And today we'll be covering horse hell no. And if you say it slow with a couple beers, it kind of sounds like whores. Hell no. However you want to put it, you can put it. Or don't ride the horse chick. There's a lot of spelling going on here. And you probably watched a few of my past episodes, so you all know the drill. <laughs> So you can kiss it, not on the left side, not on the right side, but right in the middle. Now behind me on the board, I've assembled some key points for all you gentlemen out there who've had some run-ins with some horse chicks. I'd really appreciate it if you give me some feedback on regards to if this is accurate or not. Anyway, with that being said, let us begin. Some uh, information has come to my attention as of late to a former female I used to date who was heavy into the horse circuit culture thing. I think that this applies to not only her, but all the other horse chicks out there, or shall I say, a majority of you horse chicks out there. So pay attention, you might learn something if you can't seem to uh, you know, learn from yourselves. Stupid. Let's get to the, the nitty gritty. Number one, expensive. Horses are no longer needed. We have cars and trucks and you really don't eat them, even though they are tasty when I was in France. Yeah, you're like, I'll have my Mr. Ed with a side of mashed potatoes. <laughs> some green beans on the side. Whipped cream on your pie. Hair pie. Put some on your head. Yeah. So on average, if they have a horse, they're shelling out between 1,200 and 2,000 a month. That covers board, feed, rent, shoeing, and all the other craziness that goes along with it. That comes out to right around fourteen four to twenty-four thousand dollars a year. Now you got to ask yourself the quintessential question: Is it worth it? If they're in their twenties and they're smoking hot, and you have enough money, of course it is. And in their thirties and they're somewhat hot, maybe. In their forties, <laughs> hell no. Don't do it. Hang on, I need a beer. Do you know anybody who's looking to be a sugar daddy to a 40 year old woman who's not in a geriatric ward or a tube up his ass? No. <laughs> Sell horses to a meat packing plant. Kids, it's time for dinner. This next one falls right, right behind expenses. They will burn through their 401k and their retirement and yours to fund the habit of the horse, to keep that meat between their legs, and it's not yours. And if she gets any inheritance, just watch it fly out the window. They can't explain where it all went. I don't know. Feed bag, horseshoes, and horse shit. That's where it all went. Stupid. We've seen this happen. They will go without medical, dental, whatever, to keep that horse. Their teeth will fall out of their head, literally. And you know, they might even, when their teeth fall out, go to another country to get new teeth put in. And they'll just, uh, they just want to keep riding that horse. True story. All right, cool. I can't, I can't, I can't go into details, but it's a true story. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll get the hell suit out of me, man. I'm not doing it. You also notice, this is very common for them. They will alienate. They're even their own children. I don't know what the hell they're thinking, but you know, they blow off their kids' birthdays, their husband or significant other. If they were married, they get divorced because the horses become more important than their significant other. Their family, you know, your horses aren't gonna spoon feed you when you're 60, 70 years old sitting in a retirement home that you can't afford because you spend all your money on horses. It is, it's totally true. It's great, great plan. And they're friends. You know, your friends you don't have any because you can't keep any because you ride all your horses because you're a selfish SOB. They would do without all of this so they can keep that. And if you're stupid enough 
to try to bankroll one of these women, they'll alienate you. Why? Because they're a master manipulator. And we'll get to that here in a minute. They're plagued with the following. I mean, plagued. Financial problems, mental problems, and emotional problems. All of which I've stated in earlier videos are symptoms of crazy chickitis. And get rid of them. And one of the main reasons why they have a lot of the financial, emotional, mental problems is I think wanting to own a horse is something that you want when you're a little kid. And they do it and they just never seem to grow up. But hang on, there's yet still more. Yeah! A large portion, I'm not saying all of them, but a large portion share the following characteristics. One, feminazi. Old, lonely hags. They have an entitlement complex. They should be allowed to do this. And somebody should also flip the bill. Not, they are narcissistic. Yeah, you are, you know it. Hypersexual. That's a good part. And this is the only reason it's worth it, even for a little while. Did you ever try to donkey punch a horse chick? That's a good point. Sudden the sex card is dropping off. Yeah, once they find out you're not gonna fund their habit, the sex drops off because they're master manipulators. Totally true. See, I'm not the only one here who's had this one. The guy behind the camera. Yeah, he's seen it too. He's some crazy ass shit. Edit that out. Liver liquor. OCD. Yeah, somebody's got to shovel out the stall and they're really good at it. And that's not the only thing they're shoveling, by the way. It's where it's at. Substance abuse. That's some alcoholic, drug using fools. Why? Because they're mental and they have emotional problems. All feed that habit. Number eight, master manipulators. How do you think they've been able to do this kind of thing for so long? After all, they have an entitlement complex. Somebody's got to flip the bill for their horses. Think about that. Personality disorder. They all got it. Well, not all. Most have it. Chances are they're going to have at least one of these. All earns them a crazy point, which gets them fired. If you can get away with this and take advantage of this one, because after all, they love to ride. And then you ride it through all the gears, neutral slam it. Uh, don't stay on too long, otherwise you won't be able to bucker off. You know, whatever you want, and then just leave it on a lot where you found it. Yeah! Winning! Anyway, this is Terrence Pop with another episode of redonklist.com, and I hope you like it, because it's all true. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, because if you do, I won't burn through your 401k or retirement to fund my whores. I mean horses, edit that out. Hello everybody, Terrence Pop here with another. Oh. <laughs> Already from the very beginning. Ah, yeah, yeah. Bummer. And if they're bisexual and you don't get set up with a three-way, right to the curb. Liver liquor. You ever try to donkey punch a whore? <laughs> a whore? <laughs>